Gaming Tuts Pro, welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this super cool kind of popping out mask effect. I don't know, it's kind of cool and I, I just really wanted to kind of show you guys how to do this without using any plugins or any special software. Please leave a like and subscribe uh, and also turn on bell notifications so you don't miss out on a video like this because I will be posting a video every day uh, until Wednesday at 9 a.m. MST. Before we actually add a draw mask, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the top, we're gonna go to edit and we're gonna click on add freeze frame. I'm gonna press shift Z and we're gonna have a still image. I'm just gonna drag this up and I'm gonna trim this down to fit this clip here. So if I zoom in, it's going to look like this. And I have this clip here. What I want to do now is I'm gonna go to the masks, add a draw mask and drag that onto that top clip. And now all you have to do is just click and drag to make a perfect smooth curve as well as a selection. You wanna make this pretty good of a selection. You might have to zoom in onto your subject here. I'm gonna click once there, I'm gonna zoom out to fit, and then I'm gonna finish off with the first point, and you're gonna notice a little pen tool or a circle. Click that, and this will make your selection. Now, once we're at this point, what we want to do is make a copy of this video clip. The video clip and not the actual freeze frame. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this, we're gonna hold Option and drag upwards above our actual freeze frame. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the freeze frame, we're gonna press Command C, we're gonna select the uh, copied video, which is on top. We're gonna press Shift, Command V, to actually uh, paste all the draw mask points. So that way we don't have to redraw it and uh, it's just a pain in the butt. And it also saves us a lot of time. So we're gonna click paste. And so now we have uh, the same exact draw mask from these two clips. We're gonna select the freeze frame, which is the middle clip. We're gonna go over to the transform tool and we're just gonna move it like this. You're gonna see that it's now behind it. You're gonna see that we could have done a better selection on the left side, but we're gonna fix that in a little bit. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna move it here and I'm going to kind of rotate it using this kind of circle wheel. I'm gonna transform it and make it a little bit smaller, maybe something like this. Once we're there, I'm gonna click done and I'm gonna hold option, select it in the middle clip, drag it down to make another copy. We're gonna go back to transform and just move this other piece over to something like this. I'm gonna click on done. So uh, once you're here, we're gonna select the other one here. So we'll hold option and drag down to make another copy. Whoops, make sure it's there. And I'm gonna go back to transform and I move this one over. I'm gonna rotate this one again and I'm gonna click done. So we're gonna hold option and just drag down again. Go to transform and move this one over. I'm done here. And we're gonna select all of the uh, clips that we made for the freeze frame. You'll notice that they're selected with the mask, right? We're gonna right click and we're gonna to go to new compounds clip to group them together. And I'm gonna name this composite. So we have now one uh, clip here with her and then the actual video clip with the mask. At this point, all you have to do is just move the mask over to the right a little bit to kind of make sure it's where it needs to be. We're gonna go into draw mask. We're gonna go into control points, add a keyframe next to that, go to transform and add a keyframe next to position. And then you're just gonna go frame by frame here, if I zoom in, and just moving these points over, so we're gonna have to zoom in quite a bit to 150 maybe. And you just wanna make sure that, that these points are aligned to the actual subject. So in this case, Sweetie, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click and drag. But all you're doing here is you're just moving these points, making sure that they are only on the subject at this point. And this one won't take too long because it's only 13 frames, so just take your time with this one. All right guys, so once you are finished, it's going to look something like this. You know, it only took me like maybe 10 minutes max. I mean, you could easily take maybe 20 minutes just doing this to make it really perfect and I suggest you guys do it. But for the sake of the tutorial, I just went kind of relatively quickly with the selection here. But all you're really doing is just moving these points as the subject moves, just making sure that, you know, you have this all around this here. And the top doesn't really matter that much because they're gonna be coming out from the side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the composite clip, which is the freeze frame. We're gonna go over into the transform tool in the inspector window. We're gonna go to the very beginning of the uh, clip here. I'm gonna set this to, I'm gonna add a keyframe first. I'm gonna move this to the left here so we can't see it. I'm gonna go about maybe here and I'm gonna type in 100%, press enter. And then from here, I want it to stay on screen for about two frames, maybe one frame, maybe two, we'll do two frames. And then we're gonna add another keyframe and then we're gonna go to the end and then just type in zero. So it's gonna look like this. It's gonna 
kind of go up, right? It's gonna zoom up, stay on screen for two frames, and then it's gonna go back down. So once we're here, all we gotta do now is just go into all video and audio, type in handheld, and drag this onto your freeze frame. We're going to then increase the shakiness and then the distance. We're gonna zoom up quite a bit. So if I push play, it makes it look a lot more realistic, just gives it more movement here. And if I go into the blur and we get rid of this, we can add a kind of like a blur. So we can go to, you can do a zoom blur. If I drag this here, it will look kind of like this. Now this will, for some reason, kind of look like this. And that's just something that you're gonna have to kind of sacrifice. But I mean, you're not using any plugins, which is kind of cool. So we're gonna go into look, you can do variable or uniform. So variable, you can change the amount of, of this. Say in the beginning, we want it to be about here. You can do something like this. So we can add a free uh, keyframe next to that. And then once it stops here, we can type in zero and press enter. So it'll look something like this. And then we're gonna add another keyframe there. And we're gonna go down to where we can see it last. And we're gonna drag that about not so much to where you can see the edges. So something like that. So now if I push play, it looks just like that. So if you guys found this tutorial helpful at all, please leave a like. Show me you guys' really cool edits with this. I'm really curious. All you have to do is just tag me with your edit and share it on Instagram. Just make sure you tag me and that way I can uh, post it on my story. So with that being said, if you guys found it helpful, please leave a like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on the video.